Okay, question 24. There are three different types of sandwiches on a shelf. Um, we've got four egg sandwiches, five cheese sandwiches, and two ham sandwiches. Erin takes at random two of these sandwiches. Work out the probability that she takes two different types of sandwich. Uh, now, this is a classic um, tree diagram problem. Now, they used to give you the tree diagrams and get you to fill it in. Now, you're going to have to draw it yourself. So, let's, um, let's draw the diagram on and see if we can figure out what's going on so you're going to choose the first time round and you've got three different options um so try and make this so that we've got plenty of space okay so you can have ham cheese or egg so egg cheese ham right so you got egg cheese and ham and then you're going to select again You get egg, cheese, ham, egg, cheese, ham, cheese, and ham. So let's fill those in. Egg, cheese, ham, egg, cheese, ham egg cheese and ham okay now we had um four egg sandwiches five cheese and two ham which means the probability of choosing egg on the first round you got four egg sandwiches but there are 11 different sandwiches so it would be four out of 11 then uh, five cheese so it'd be five out of 11 five over 11 and two ham two over 11 two over 11 okay um, now, if you're going to pick again, there won't be uh, there won't be 11 sandwiches anymore. There will be 10 sandwiches. So, um, on the second go, suppose you got egg the first time. Well, chance of you getting egg the second time. There's only three egg sandwiches left, and there's only 10 sandwiches in total. But there's still five cheese out of 10, or two ham out of 10. Um, here, if we've if we've picked cheese already, if we've picked five cheese sandwiches, if there was five cheese sandwiches. That means next time there'll only be four, but there was still four, um, four egg and still two ham. Um, if I pick the ham sandwich the first time, the chances I get it in the second go. Well, there's only one ham sam ham sandwich left, so one out of ten. But there would still be, if I picked ha ham the first time, there's still five cheese sandwiches left, five out of ten. And there would still be four egg sandwiches left, four out of ten. And um, you might have been told before that to work out the probabilities at the end, you just multiply across the branches. So um, let's write this in now. Um, four over 11 times three over 10 is going to be uh, 12. 12 over um, 110. Uh, 4 over f 4 times 5 is 20 over 110. And then 8 over 110. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 over 110. Uh, 20 again over 110. And again, I'm multiplying across the branches. So this times this. 5 times 2 over 10 is 10 over 110 and then 2 over 11 times 4 over 10 is 8 over 110 um, in fact let's move that one up a bit 8 over 110 um, 2 times 5 is 10 so 10 over 110 and then 2 times 1 2 over 110 now let's just check and make sure I've done this correctly if I have done it correctly um, these fractions should all add up to 1. So uh, 12, 32, 40, 60, 80, 90, 98, um, 98, 108, 110. So that's spot on. I've done that correctly. 110 over 110 is 1. And we want the probability that she takes two different types of sandwich. So let's just identify which ones involve two different types of sandwich. Um, she could have egg and then cheese. Uh, she could have egg and then ham. 
she could have um, cheese and then egg cheese and egg uh, she could have cheese and ham she could have ham and egg she could have ham and cheese so I'm just going to add these probabilities up um, so we get 20 28 48 58 um, 66 76 76 over 110 76 over 110